Welcome back everybody to Sweet Home 3D and California Dreamers Association channel. We have been away for a little bit. We've been tangling with the dining room and trying to get the rendering video out, but it is taking some time. So it's not like we don't want to put videos out, but uh, again, the video, the rendering uh, takes a little bit of time. So um, bear with us, but hopefully we'll, we'll get that to the channel soon enough. But today uh, we want to take care of a few things around the house here. Um, one of them is the shared bathroom on the second floor. So let's go ahead and uh, get into the video. All right, so you, you see this a little bit of a debacle here. You got the uh, commode in the center of the floor, bathtubs by the, the door. Uh, it's not working out, but uh, it will. We were working, at this point, we were working on a, a uh, floor plan or arrangement of the um, the commode and such. But that wasn't the problem. That was That's the easy fix. The problem was uh, we were working downstairs and trying to get the dining room rendered, uh, we were thinking ahead and, and trying to, um, you know, decide what we we're going to do next around the condo. And um, it came into my head that, hey, we should do the, 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 the older sister's room and try to finish that. I think it's a really cool room, and I think we should probably work on that. Then something popped in my head. And something that should have popped in my head a long time ago. Uh, there is a shared bathroom here. That means the blue carpeted room at the top is the uh, siblings there's two brothers and the uh the hardwood floor is the uh girls room the older, the older sister and there's a shared bathroom what's wrong with this picture so we're here to fix it today so, and uh we we are that's already been taken care of uh we have these cool vanities here it was it, they were actually two vanities and now they are one and that gives us more counter space for two bra toothbrushes and hand towels and things but if you look on the wall uh, you will find that something is absent from this wall. And we are not seeing our, you know, our lovely faces here. Like, what's going on here? Of course we know what's going on. There's an absence of a mirror to this wall. So, that means we need to go out and get one. We actually got a, I guess you could say like a decorative mirror. Something that you would otherwise put in your uh, living room or your foyer or something like that. But it actually worked here uh, very well on the wall in this bathroom. So that being said, uh, we're going to uh, visit Archi 3D because that's one of my favorite sites for getting models. And that's just kind of a, a further back, uh, you know, area view, aerial view of the vanities there. And as you can tell, one's been textured on the drawers and one isn't. Uh, we, will, we will address that. That's minor right now. That's, that's a minor thing. Okay, but there is our mirror that we got from Archi 3D. As you, as you can see, the glass is blacked out. So I've noticed that if you get glass from somewhere else other than the Sweet Home Library site, um, there the, the glass is sometimes wonky. Now we locked up uh, on the sunshine mirror in the dining room. That actually has glass, but we're going to have to talk about that too. Anyway, so there is our mirror. As you can see, there is no glass because the glass was blacked out. So that means we have to put glass in said mirror. So we need to go to the, but up, but up, but up. I just said it right. The Sweet Home 3D Library here, okay. And we need to go get that glass. So we'll probably flash that um, real quick. Oh, let's do this. Let's change the color. I'm not really crazy. But well, it doesn't. The color doesn't necessarily go. I'm trying to work with eventually a kind of a silver and green. Um, um, color scheme here that's what we're trying to go with so the floor is not permanent the floor that you see though though be it it's really cool we're not going to end up going with that we'll go with something different hey there we go i think that works a little better and the boys like silver and they like you know blue and whatnot so uh so there we go so now um that's oh and there's the aerial aerial view yet again so we have our mirror there still without the glass but at least it, it fits what we're trying to work with as far as the color scheme. All right. Where are we going next? We're going to the Arc, the Sweet Home Library again for the probably the third time now to get that 
to get that glass so we can put that in there were a few steps uh and and there it is boop flash it and now it's gone um anyway someone's like really lousy in the editing department uh but there is our glass that we downloaded and there are a few steps to getting that in there like to actually get it in there like you can kind of do the what i like to call the brownie method and you can just work the glass in and call it a day but we don't we don't do the brownie method here on the channel so uh, we do work the glass in, and once that's done, we export it and then re import it as an entire model, uh, or as, as one model. So that's what we'll do. We're not going to show that whole thing, but uh, we do have our glass here. And the other issue, too, when it comes to glass, when it comes to mirrors in particular, if you are, if you are going to render a room, you're going to need the glass, as I understand it, from the Sweet Home 3D library. And someone can correct me in the comments if I am wrong, if I'm incorrect, um, that is the case. But let's cut away here real quick, and we're going to show the glass uh, in the mirror. Now, this glass will 100%, 100%, it will render, meaning uh, when we do the photorealistic um, still frame, that mirror is going to reflect what is across from the wall, which is probably going to be another wall. <laughs> but... If you look, if you go back to the penthouse, the last video that we did was the penthouse bathroom, right? And that's when we found out, hey, the mirrors that you get, even if they're not blacked out, and there's actually mirrors there, just like the sunshine mirror. We actually got that and it wasn't blacked out, but it's not going to render. So we know that going forward. But anyway, the mirror looks awesome. This is the final floor plan. So to your left, even though it's off camera, that's when you that's where you walk in from the boys' side. Okay, well, no, there is no boys and girls side. That is the boys' room off to the left, and then off to the right is a walk-in shower. And when we mean, when we mean a walk-in shower, a literal walk-in shower. There's no glass to open and close. Uh, is You just walk over there and turn the shower on. So I saw this in a video. Um, there was a bathroom being built for an individual um, with disabilities. He was in a wheelchair. It was easier for him if he could just roll his chair into the shower and turn it on. And I've also seen this in other videos that, you know, for people who weren't, um, you know, living with disabilities as well. Um, and it was, I thought it was really neat. And I see it more and more uh, of a common thing. Anyway, so we'll be working on that shower. I can't wait to do that. Uh, but now we're downstairs in the dining room. And let's, let's, let's deal with these mirrors here. We're going to... Um, put the uh, mirror up in the chandelier and we're going to fix that sunshine mirror that we were showing there. So let's go ahead and hop into that. Um, so we're going to get another uh, another glass from the uh, Sweet Home 3D library again because that's the only place that I know I can get glass if I want my mirror to render. If I want to see a reflection in the still frame then that's where I have to go. Plain and simple. Uh, you know, simple as that. So we want to actually flip this over on an X axis. Try saying that 15 times. I can't even say it once. But if you look at the top of our screen, you can see that the mirror is um, flipped 90 degrees. And then there it is in the chandelier. If you want a migraine headache, um, try putting that in. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was work trying to get that in there. Um, because we have the ambient light fixtures and so we couldn't move the ceiling out and stuff like that that we normally do so we, we had to leave everything alone um, and just work it from this angle work it in there all right anyway so that's in there we're, we're not gonna cry about that all right? we don't cry here on the channel no 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 uh, anyway <laughs> um, well, sometimes we cry when we see how, how awesome the room is in, in a render form but anyway <laughs> there is the sunshine mirror and uh, now there, that's the glass from, from the from the website, from the uh, Sweet Home 3D library. That's that glass. So that means, again, when you do a still frame picture, it's going to render. You're going to see whatever is adjacent to this wall, which is the uh, buffet uh, and china closets. So that is awesome. And I think here in a second, we're going to do a sneak peek. Uh, we were doing tests to make sure that the ambient lights work and yeah it's a little it's a little dark it is a little dark the ambient lights the ambient lights do work but so do the mirrors the mirrors you can see but you can see the reflection in the mirror anyway folks we're going to go ahead and end the video here um yeah, if you want to join us uh, you know what to do 
hit the subscribe, subscribe, that's it, and the bell, and you're done. You've now joined the uh, Dreamers Association, and uh, you hit the bell, you know that uh, anytime we do a video, you're going to get notified of that video. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hit, leave a like if you did. And again, thanks for watching and for visiting the home of virtual home creation. Signing off for now. Goodbye, everybody.